It's about this plan of rebellion that you have against the British. There's no tribe in the world which goes to war without sacrificing to their gods. So there truly are no exceptions. Our ancestors used to offer sacrifices to, to ensure special protection and victory in war. We should do the same now to appease the gods and succeed in the plan. We have to make some rituals at the Mount Oret in order to succeed. Should you fail or reject this, we are finished. Thank you, Chief. Uh, I will not break the tradition of our ancestors. And ever since, we have been making sacrifices when going hunting. I have never broken such traditions. Even now, I consult a seer before a journey. Chief, you are wise. Okay, thank you, Chief. So far, so good. But you must remember that what we have at stake now is really a big issue. One goat can't make it. Goats are for minor issues like safety on a journey. But for serious cases like fighting against the whites, we need something greater. According to the traditions of our ancestors, in a case like this, the sacrifice of a human being, of a child, must be made. Isn't it? Tell the community to find a child with something like big umbilical cord, umbilical ania, and have him sacrificed at the mountains. I can't accept this idea. Killing human beings is horrible and is of something of the past. Don't you, uh, killing is not wanted. Don't you see accept. how you killing continue to you break the tradition? Why do you violate traditions? You don't leave out traditions. No, no, no. Now, Chief, what do you think about my being against sacrificing a child? I don't accept to sacrifice a child. We can sacrifice a goat, and the issue of war must go on without fail. We, must, we are determined to go ahead. Chief, offering sacrifice is a good idea. It has never worked well, but for sure we have to look for other means. Since you are well known, please select some people to go to Abach to make negotiations for guns. It's a good idea, I accept. But we must first kill a goat and see the intestine, see if our journey is safe. Do you see this line? No, no. This line. This line shows that uh, we shall have a safe journey. Do you see this second line? This second line shows that the Abbas are waiting for us. Do you see this line? This line, this line shows that we shall have uh, plenty of rain. Look here. Look at this line. Somebody is going to be killed. Who will be killed? This last line is going to be so it's the latest The Abaj will accept to support us. Look here. Things, however, are okay. Generally, we are okay. We can start now. We can start. It has been a long journey and we are already tired. Will they really welcome us? Let us go. Who is that? 
I am Chief Lakidi. Oh, Chief Lakidi. Akuri matek to twelve. Akuri to twelve. Eh, dano duong do. Eh, dano duong. Assalamu alaikum. Eh, kasini. Kasini. Chief Lakidi, I hope you have brought all that we agreed upon. Sindio? Sindio? Not all, but we are struggling. Kwanini we ameselewa. I read it for you, really. Ah, Master, it is difficult to get it. Elephant task? Yes, we are struggling. It is very difficult to get it. The spear cannot manage. We are struggling to get it. Only the spear and the arrows cannot kill the elephant. The elephants are very strong. We need to shoot with the gun. If you don't bring the elephant task, you will not get anything from us. There is nothing for free. It is difficult. You must get it. It is not easy. We are trying. If it is only about the elephant task, sir, we shall bring it. But now we have come with another problem. Our problem is about the British who are coming to impose their leaders on us. This is something very bad, and yet we are not interested in that. Really, you need to help us. We are waiting for that help. So what do you want? We want, we want the, the gun. gun. Oh, you need the gun. We need your gun because our spears and arrows are very inferior. The British, they have the guns. Please do us a favor so that we can fight these people and chase them away from our land. The guns are very expensive. Last time we exchanged our guns with very weak people. This time we need energetic people, young girls. Who are... In fact, they were weak. But this time we want many people with energy to do our work. Chief, I told you that the British were bad last time, but we said we were the one. But now how can we do it? Can we do something for you? You are right. You are right. Have you seen? Do you agree? The British? Yeah. Not only the British are bad, but all the whites. And you, Chief, you have been keeping these whites from Khartoum in your home. What can we now do for you if you don't send these catechists? Yes, sir. The catechists who are with me are very good people. They teach children and they only teach religion. Everybody loves them. What kind of religion? There is only one religion, that of Muhammad, blessed be his name, not that of Jesus. There is no other religion. These catechists are spoiling your land. They are spoiling our market. Don't accept them. Send them away as possible. That is true. Do you think the Catholic religion accepts slavery? From where will you get good things? This is something which is to be done away with. Get away. Surely that is true. The market will be spoiled. This happened in Khartoum. The white man called Daniel Komboni has ruined the market all over the world. There will be no selling of people. Is it clear? Do something. Especially you. You have to be careful. And also you, girl, who is keeping this catechism in your home. Send them away. I am telling you today. Is it clear? Do something. These are my guests. And actually tradition does not accept. Now what should I do? These are my guests. Ah, oh, oh girl, you are bad. Oh girl, you are bad. You are the one betraying us. You say what here? You give away the issue of tradition. You are the one increasing our problems. If these catechists are still there, we shall not give you an assistant. Chase them away. That's right, away with them. Chase them. They must be. We shall not give you. How can we give? Have you heard, Chief? No. I'm the one saying. Is it clear? This is the condition we are giving you, and you must comply. There is no discussion about it. Do it. It is true, sir. I've got you well. 
But in a Chile tradition, you cannot send a visitor staying very friendly with you. Now, really, I don't know what I should do. Hold me to do here, really. If it is only that, leave it to me. I will finish the work well. You will see. Fine. We have heard all what you told us. We shall put them all into action. We shall act immediately. All right. If you give this catechism with Mr. Ugal, we shall not give you any help. Sorry, Angel. Go back at it. We shall, we shall see from home. Yeah, we shall try to act. <laughs> Hey, David, you know how to play well. Who taught you? Quite well, you know. My people, you are always here for the whole day playing and playing. Why don't you give time also for prayer? The people are complaining of insecurity. But look here. How peaceful is the place? Have you seen this? What is inside? The queen. Now we are going to open where the queen lives. The queen lives with the termites and the white arm. She cannot live without them. Similarly, we Christians cannot live without God. Just as the termites cannot live without the queen. Termites keeps the queen, and the queen is a great help to the Tamai. In the same way, we get the great help from God if we keep close to God, like the Tamai who gather around the queen. Children, have you ever seen the queen? Yes. I want to tell you something extraordinary. God in Jesus has become our food in the Eucharist to feed us and to make us strong in our daily lives. The son of Gal is coming. Call them. Come here. Come here. You youth, we have called you here because we have the plan. We want you to attack those of Ogal and that of Ahmed. 
We elders are going to attack the people of the British and the Kajikis of the fathers from Khartoum. We are, we are ready to with this one together. You are still very young. Do you think you can kill these people? You are Katekumans. Can you kill your Katekist? I doubt. We can do it because they are in my village. I know their place. I know where they live. And I know their program. You trust me. I will make sure that I finish these people. I will fulfill your needs. I know your order. And I'm faithful to it. I know you young men are very wise and strong. You we elders are behind you. Work tirelessly and courageously. Yes, we shall. Don't worry. I want what you be no. I want what better be a metal battle than what you will get out Have you seen what is happening? Yes, we are. This woman is a potter. Out of the mere clay, she can make a useful thing. A potter from the clay can make different good things, which can serve man's need, like pots and dishes. She made them in different sizes and shapes. Just as I have taught you in the past, God created heaven and hope, and he created things differently. From the same soil, the woman can make pots and dishes. All of them are good, and they stay well together. They are not jealous of each other. In the same way, God does not want us to be jealous of one another. Whether you are short or tall, brown or dark, big or small, rich or poor, God wants us to be free from jealousy. Is there any difference among them? No. All these things come from the same clay, but they are all made differently and they have different purposes. We too are all different in one way or another. We too come from the same source but with different gifts. All gifts are for different services but all of them are to help each other, to build unity. Do you understand? If the woman sells her pots, is she still following them? No. no. Yes. Yes, she doesn't care. What if the pot breaks? Does the woman regret? No, she doesn't mind. Well, God does in a different way from the potter. 
a great man. He cares for him. He loves him. He provides for him needs without discrimination. You should also have love for God, just as he loves you, you and provides you for needs. He is really interested in our life, and he gives everything we need to make us happy. Joy does not come from a thing of the world. God helps us. He is with us. He loves us. The greatest, the wonderful, and absolutely impossible event for human understanding is that God became flesh in his son, Jesus Christ. The sacrificial lamb for the sins of our ancestors and ours. This is the greatest event which shows how much God loved us humankind. Are you following me? Yes. yes. David, there is a visitor waiting for you. For today, we can stop here. We shall continue in the evening with the rosary. Okay? Thank you for coming. You are welcome. Yes, is this your place? Yes, it's our place. This is our community. Are you, are you all right? Yes, we are all right. Today I've decided to visit you. You did well. It is very good to visit us. Gilo is also with us here. Adela, hey. how is your journey going on? It's going on well. I started moving from Paton, coming to Paimol. Then I found where the home of Ahmed was. Bad people came and broke into the home of Ahmed, and they wanted to arrest him, but he escaped. Now the government has come to see the sad scenario that happened in the home of Ahmed. Things are not easy there. Ahmed is under a great threat. Can you see the foot of that mountain? Yes, I can see. Where the smoke is. These people are seriously working there. Uh -huh, really? The way I look at it, this place is not good. It is really bad. It's a battlefield. You are right. I see many are seem to be burning that side. It, it is not very safe here. The way I see now, you are not supposed to stay here. I advise you to go back to Kidgum. Here is not a place to stay in. Accept what I tell you as an elder. This is politics, which we are not involved in. Even from here, people love us. We cannot live here. We shall stay here because we have only come to teach religion. People love you, but not all. In my opinion, this issue is also touching us servants of God very much. If possible, we should leave this place and go back to Kidgum. I see no need of going back to Kidgum. If you have already dedicated yourself in the work of God, you need to stay with the people, whether there is peace or insecurity. Gildo, what do you think about this issue? For me, I think we should continue staying here as a catechist. You see, even birds are here staying together with us. Don't you see? Yes, I'm seeing it is really wonderful. The presence of the bird is the sign of peace. And where there is peace, there is good. We can stay. Do you want to stay here and talk to bird and yes, some people don't like you? Don't mind. We remain here. If you stay here for long, you will see how many people will come to us. As you remain here, what kind of report should I take to the father? When you reach Kidgum, Tell Father Caesar that we are staying here in Paimol. They should only pray for us. God will help us. That is good. Last time we agreed that we are to overthrow the kingdom of Ahmed. Do you accept? Yes, I do accept. What we have agreed, we have to follow it. We have to destroy the kingdom of Ahmed. 
Are you not hesitating? No, I'm not. Surely, I'm going to do it. Mkumu Gari, let's do like this. Tomorrow at dawn, we gather in the home of Lakidi and begin the attack. But there is something to be discussed. The other time, we agreed that the, the, the two catechists should leave this place. Everything will be done, whether I'm around or not. You go ahead with what we had agreed upon. Is it not going to fail? That depends on you. Thank you. If we are going to follow what we agreed on, we met with a badge. Remember, we agreed that these people should leave this place. Yes. Then Ibrahim, is your group ready? Did I not tell you that I also have many followers whom, if you go there, on your coming back, you will find that I have done more than you even. We are now very strong, ready. You trust us. We shall be happy if you do that. Let's go. Akadamoy, are you strong enough to kill today? Yes. Where is your weapon? Is this strong like mine, this one? Yeah, it is here. Can it kill? It can kill. It is very strong. Let us prepare now. We can go. You are a good man, boy. Let's go. David, it's already time to go sleeping. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Father Lamberetto told us to say a rosary. And there is problem and difficulties. It's good to pray it now. Today, there are many birds in the sky. What could it mean? Now you can go to sleep. Gildo, can we sleep here? Oh no. Go home. Your parents will be worried if you sleep here. My parents will be angry if I delay here for press. Why do your parents get annoyed? Did it be you don't respect them? I respect them. I do my duty well. I know not to pray, but I come here to pray. This is very good. Prayer is very important in human life. Even me, Gildo, yesterday somebody frightened me that I should remove the medal and throw it away. But I'm very well. I took it and I hid. It is me. You did very well to hide it. This is a sign of faith. Gildo, I also have something to say. 
It is really a secret. I heard elders saying that this teaching is not good. It seems they are again it. They do not want this teaching to continue. And they are planning to kill you. This is what you should know. You should not worry. We are not here to look for riches. Jesus Christ has died, but his faith is still alive. Praying Rosary will help us. We might die, but our faith will remain alive. We should be not worried. Let us pray. <laughs> David, have you heard the rumors going on? One of the catechumen told me that the elders don't want us. They have evil intentions. Ibrahim, the son of Ogal, is not moving as usual. Akadamoy, the nephew of Ogal, is not also coming. Really? Seems there is something wrong coming up. Remember. Yesterday, Catechist Adeka told us that this place is not safe. Did you hear the drumming? The sound of the drum has a lot of meanings in a cholly. David, if it is true, have you locked the door? Why? We have done nothing wrong. And we are not involved in politics. It's God who will protect us and not a closing door. I'm not settled. I'm scared. It's better we go away. You can go to sleep among the people if you are afraid. I cannot separate myself from you. We have moved and thought together. Now let's say a short prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Holy Spirit, 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 my friends, it's very easy to get these people today. There are only two. Katikumas are not there even. They are just, we can get them. Free. Yes, we are enough to finish them. Ah, let us not waste time. Our fathers will be very happy with us if we do this work. They will see us as heroes of this place, although we are young. We shall do this work. Let us go. Tell you? No, no, don't worry. We have the door. No, we have done nothing wrong. Stay in door. Come, come out. Come no. Out. Come out. Stay. Just be calm. Come be out. calm. Please we have done. Out. We have come nothing. I am also a catechist. If you kill him, kill me too. <laughs> ha, as your Bible saved you, 
No more preaching now. No more catechesis. Yes, the missionaries will cry. No more preaching at all. Ha, the hellers will praise us for the work done. Now let us go and report the victory to the elders. The life of David and Gildo did not end with their death. They saw God's glory and they are witnesses of Christ and help of the Christians. Jesus said, Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, of. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. <laughs> On the 20th of October 2002, the Pope declared David Okello and Gildo Erwa. Those who were in power during that time all fell down defeated. Lakidi was killed by the government before dying.
he received baptism. Ogal was killed in an hunting expedition. Ibrahim became blind. Akadamoy the sword bearer became paralyzed. The number of Christians increased in Paimol. They glorify and praise Gildo and David every day. The tomb and the shrine is visited frequently. The big church under construction will become a place of grace and glory. Yeah. 